Well, peace of the country and the peace of the state as well. So we pray that your name shall be exalted. Of course, to pay the celebration, the Verdi will be launching for the and heroes and the heroes of once. A chief servant for an address, a chief, Musa Kuti. I'm glad to address all of you at this important occasion of 2013. I'm forced to remember at least a few weeks and remembrance day celebration on the major stage. The occasion is in the members of, of, of the OX servicemen as we remember the, the fallen heroes and heroines who fought the First and Second World War, Nigerian Civil War, and the peacekeeping mission abroad. During the celebration, funds uh, are donated for the members of the failing families of the um, departed ex servicemen in, 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 in the state. I therefore call on um, <coughs> personalities present to, 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 <coughs> to donate to the Nigerian Legion. Ninja State Chapter through purchase of, of, of the <coughs> emblem and, and the emblem. Very, very, very soon, the chief servant and the and gun battle of the, of the state legion will be decorated within the <coughs> emblem. The chief servants are permit me to thank the state government for, for providing fund for this, for this uh, celebration. May yeah, God continue to guide, guide you as you parlate the affairs of the major state. It is my <coughs> regular humble honor and the privilege to stand before, before the chief servant to, to, deliver, to deliver a vote of thank for this year's successful event. The chief servant, sir, within, within, within fear of with no fear of contradiction, I stand to, to be to be to to <coughs> to quote out, therefore that the Nigerian Legion Major State Chief Council has never had it at all, and to the, the God sent to uh, to to deliver to deliver <coughs> to deliver service leadership, indeed. We are part of your <coughs> part of your decoration. You you have you have reduced our you have reduced our our of the contribution. Second sequence to that our our it is it is as we commemorate to support the support of our program. So I thank all of you for honoring our invitation. The Prime Secretary I hope to see you and the that he never was praying to call.
Your timing will happen 11 and maybe that explains why many of the members see you are doing something outside the general Why is that? Why is the Secretary General? Yeah. The elected people go once. The elected people go once. Our members, our members. On what? On our issues, our programs and that. <laughs> no, but I think but why I'm asking, I'm very sure you need to draw the, the number of people involved. You ask for a land, we gave you land, nobody has come to that. The land is later. It's up to later level. Then, we the concerned group of ex servicemen, uh, we don't want to challenge on that very day. But we decided to go and form a committee called um, Monitoring Group. Let me donate to you. Have you. Do you donate money to your own organization? Yes, sir. How much? Uh, it's on paper, sir. How much per How much are you going to pay? Uh, local government chairman. You, you. you. How much are you going to pay? We have annual How much? It's 1,000. So have you contributed your own for the past years? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> sir, sir, permit me, sir. Okay, no, but remember, he is the one now who will go to court to get his money either from your organization or from the former chairman. I have no problem. <laughs> <laughs> because the organization is porous, you only wait for the general election. That's the problem. And yet, why is General Stand of Donald Trinity? You are around, the region is dying, and some people are messing it up. Sir, there are so many things involved here. Yeah. <laughs> like, number one, sir. I am also a member of you. I know. All of us retirees are all members of the I know that. But the point is this. There is a kind of difference between the commissioned officer who is retired and the NCO who is discharged. Mm -hmm. They believe one thing, that they may not vote for me as a group. You can vote your own group now. know what I mean by form and I'm not saying you vote for me because I retired as a general No. You form your own group of the yes. uh, so-called commission officers. Yes. Yes. Come and see how you can convince them. <laughs> That's what I did. Mean. We sat. I sat. He mandated me to sit with them. Now, what do we want to build on that property? We came up with the design, which we corrected for months and months, which was block of uh, offices and. We now demarcated a little place to put a restaurant, up to put a like something like a guest house for lodging, <coughs> one one bedroom apartment. At the end of the day, that was when this story now came out. Okay, the money we have collected, in which account have you lodged it, so that we know how much we have, so that let's get started. Government will now come and see how far that money can take us. And the government will now come to assist us. Then the story started going around that the land was sold to an evil man as an uh -uh. And the moment they saw difference, they cut me off till we're hearing what we're hearing today. Sir, as a matter of fact, even the bus that was given to Legion, <coughs> sir, the former chairman, they have not told us that one yet, was using it as a commercial bus. Yes. Yes or no? Are you saying no? Yes. no. I said the former chairman, I didn't mean you. The boss was running down. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Now, do you see much money? 
is that people, even in their own organization, they cannot take care. And if retired military officers cannot take care of an organization, what do you expect to happen in the whole Niger society? It is not because we had the money that we were doing what we were doing. It is because we thought your organization needed the support. But then you allow other people. But I'm happy at least you woke up. You woke up to be able to correct. NUDB, Ministry of Land, go and reprocess that land. If not that for some reasons, otherwise I would have even said, we use that man who bought. It's not whether he's Igbo or Yoruba or whatever. Somebody bought what did not belong because I'm sure that man did not tell him it was his land. He, he must have been aware it was an organization's land. But he still went ahead to buy. And then the former chairman, I would have said, go and arrest them and take them to court. For one, selling what does not belong to him. For the other, buying what he knows he should not have bought in the first place. But first, retrieve the land. If the legion we find are not, they don't want to use it, then we give it to another organization. Okay. Somebody has something has been written. The fund that is generous. That you become a member of the caretaker group, but don't go and say they must make you chairman. You are a member, and this will be the proper. Okay, how far you can go? Okay. <laughs> then I saw, although he did any place that we met from today, of corruption, or government officers of corruption, you are, you can be even corrupt within your family. In Islam, those of you who have two, three, four wives, if you take one which is not her day, but because she is nicer, that is corruption. Because there are rules. Anything that you deviate from the rules, but there is a room even in that one. If you beg the, the one that has her day and she agrees, <laughs> And that is why up to today, maybe now, if he hears that I have said so, he will be aware that I am aware. I did a bit flip because my money is different from his own, him and his God. But in a way, a manner now that I have seen, I am not going to make any play to whether I see to ask it for the facility until I see the new theater Esco in the next three months, what they have been able to do. We will be there on the 15th, that's the priority. Okay, I think for today, you get no cover from me yet. I thank you very much. We have a guest, help us to see again. We have a guest that is coming in. Which way are you going to bring him this way? To the capital of this state. Uh, as you know, better than I do, uh, Niger State is quite close to federal capital territory and uh, from Abuja it's only a few steps away to, uh, to go to Niger State, uh, to Sulejia, uh, uh, to the waterfalls and, uh, and other places. Uh, so I think this is maybe my, my third evening and it's a real pleasure uh, to be here today. Tell us very in Europe, probably, if you will, one of the most liberal uh, community, then if you are talking of welfare, that again, and it's not because they are the richest, <coughs> it is because of the commitment to take care of the people. And that is one of the reasons why we invited him, but like I always say to you, when people talk about transfer of technology, that is not the issue. The, what is to be transferred is actually the culture, the character, the attitude. You can bring a machine, but the machine itself will not do what it's supposed to do. It is the character and the attitude and understanding. And I will be able also to fabricate that 
and live with it. Otherwise, it will be a waste of time. These people have the character, they have the culture, they have the attitude to succeed, and they have succeeded. If you are to put, somebody was talking about London, if you are to put them on a scale, even Europeans will tell you, yes, Netherlands is probably, if not ahead of everybody, one of the top three in that area. And that's why I wanted the ambassador to come to us so that we can discuss areas of investment, particularly in agriculture, uh, in environment, and beautification. Uh, the, um, our ambassador, the very excellent lady, Nigerian ambassador to Netherlands, uh, invited my wife one time, and my wife came back and, uh, because she saw the beautiful line <coughs> Everything seems to have been really arranged. And that's why they, are, they, they can think. But when you wake up, even your room, your underwear is there, your dress is there, you can't think straight. So we thank you for coming, sir, for this invitation. And we will articulate the areas. Actually, I think we uh, have asked you to come quicker. Because from your address, I think was really you didn't give him chance to really come articulate the position that he wanted. Uh, but that, but now that we are aware, the commissioner of investment, the commissioner of culture and tourism, the commissioner of livestock, and the commissioner of uh, mining, they will let us start. If you give us an appointment, they will meet with their officers so that we discuss areas of collaboration and also areas of uh, either direct investment or partnership or whatever. These are areas that uh, you might have already learned also that we will soon also be an oil producing state. So these are some of the areas that we would like collaboration. If you take the cadastre of Nigeria, you will also discover that neither state has more deposits of mineral resources, but up to now we have not been able to get the uh, uh, wealthy partners that will be able to bring it from the ground. So we thank you very much for coming, and we appreciate it. I don't know whether they are pissed, uh, thank you. <coughs> so, uh, SLG, you are ready for this meeting? Mm -hmm. Oh, what are resources? Is she here? Yes, she is. <coughs> okay. Okay, she's back from the group. So arrange it and you leave the group whenever they are able to tell us the things. I don't know whether you have questions for the ambassador or for the legion. <laughs> 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 If I stood on that ground, if I raised my hand, nobody would see me at that point. But you are just planning uh, about assisting the ministries of environment, both state and when he said, this is not the first time of coming to Niger State. Uh, <laughs> um, it is, uh, as I said, it's a real pleasure being with you. Uh, Nigeria is a fast country. The Niger State is the, the biggest state within Nigeria. Uh, so when we are talking about supporting Nigeria, we cannot, we cannot discard uh, Niger State, I believe. There are, the Netherlands, as you rightly said, we have a lot of expertise, we have, we have developed our society uh, with the participation of the state, the people, uh, the NGOs, the whole of the society over several hundreds of years. So what we have achieved today is not invented in one week or one year. It is the result of hard labor. It is the result of the fight against water. It is the result of the fight for income and for efficiency improvement in agriculture in particular. As you might know, the Netherlands is the first worldwide exporter of agricultural products uh, and horticulture. And I think that is that kind of expertise, as well as on addressing issues of water, 
and agriculture in general. I think that is the kind of expertise which might help also uh, Nigeria and in particular Niger State. I think there is a lot this state and the inhabitants of Niger State can benefit from, let's say, the expertise, the, the, the yeah, I mean, the, and also the cooperation between government and the people, uh, as we have achieved in the Netherlands, uh, to, to benefit from that. Now, the Netherlands, the Netherlands has a, a limited program for cooperation with Nigeria, because the per capita income of Nigeria and the income of Nigeria is rather high compared to other countries to which my government is giving support. So our development cooperation program is, is geared towards the, what we call the least, some of the least developed countries. But we still do have a small scale program of support uh, from which also Nigeria uh, can benefit. And that's mainly concentrated on agriculture development. Um, I think the, uh, we are working together with IFDC, the International Fertilizer Development Center. Um, I think they have been also invited, uh, they have been here in Niger State, uh, they have invited investors to come forward with proposals on corporate setting up joint ventures uh, and, and to strengthen the cooperation between the private sector from the Netherlands and Europe and from uh, Nigeria, including Niger State. That's, I think the program is focusing on production of maybe of sorghum, um, but also on diary uh, development, uh, together with uh, Wamco in, in Lagos. And I think even a state like Niger might have uh, quite good possibilities for uh, increasing the dairy production, milk, uh, as, as also quite, <coughs> I think the Commissioner for uh, uh, Livestock will, will know. Um, I, I will, I'm glad to leave behind the context <coughs> of, of those in charge of that program. And with respect to flooding, I have not been approached by the government of Nigeria for support uh, to address the issue of flooding. Uh, but I take your question and I will... No, not only question. Now we are approaching you. <laughs> okay. Then I will give now the answer. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I think we do have a lot of expertise and there is quite some interest in the Netherlands to see where we can cooperate. So my proposal will be uh, to my authorities that they send over a team of experts uh, to, to discuss with the experts here uh, in what way uh, there can be cooperation and Niger State would benefit from, let's say, the Dutch expertise in the field of controlling uh, river flooding systems. As you know, the Dutch dredging companies are quite active in Nigeria and are dredging also the river Niger and the river Benoe, uh, and also in the coastal areas. Uh, and I think there is a tremendous uh, bunch of expertise, uh, knowledge, uh, commercial interest in the Netherlands, like it is in here in Niger State and Nigeria in general, where uh, it's good scope for, for a win-win situation for, for all of us. And I think if that is the, the, the atmosphere, the, the challenge, um, I think that can be very fruitful and very successful. Like the governor said before, it's not only about technology, but it's about how, how to implement it and how the interaction between the human being and the hardware. That is all about basically what it is about life. So I think uh, we share that concern, we share those challenges, we share those opportunities. And I think in, in those two fields, I think we, we could achieve quite some. Uh, so flooding, uh, horticulture, uh, agriculture, and 
uh, livestock. I think it's fair for me to say, let's first limit to those four sectors and see what it brings, rather than promising you the sky coming to down to earth, because that will never happen, uh, <laughs> as we all know. Uh, and too many promises are being made sometimes. Uh, let's let's be modest and start uh, in a realistic way and go along as we as we work together.